Why, hello everyone. Welcome to Playframe and welcome back to Outer Wilds. <laughs> I am very excited. So I played the original release of Outer Wilds on this channel a year or two ago. It's one of my favorite games I've played on this channel. It was a complete surprise, just really just a special playthrough in general. I loved it. We are going to now play the uh, expansion DLC thing, Echoes of the Eye, which I've heard a lot of great things about. I'm going to, apparently you can uh, launch into this expansion by loading your previous save. When I booted the game up, I did get a little alert saying uh, your save data has been corrupted um, and no other further detail. I tested it. I can load into the old save and it doesn't seem to have a problem. So I'm going to try that. And if it causes problems, I'll just create a new save and that'll be fine. But we'll, we'll, we'll see, huh? Here we go. I'm so excited. Let's wake up. Ah, it's good to be back. Before we kick things off, I think it's important that we really... Oh, well. <laughs> Starting things off on an appropriate note, I think. New exhibit, huh? Is it like an old new exhibit or a new new exhibit? The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite, and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. I don't remember that, but maybe it was here before. It does say new, though, right? Seems new. Did I find this last time? I, I know in the original playthrough, we found some satellite out in the middle of nowhere that was just sort of playing a weird audio file on loop, and I thought it was just like a a, a backer, like, little uh, Easter egg type thing. Is the new expansion attached to that? Somehow? I wonder. And we're in space. Feels good. Map, help me. Okay. Can I lock onto this? Not exactly. Can I, like, hmm. All right. Wait. I saw like a little red. Yeah, see the little red thing? Hmm. I wonder if I can get out here in time. What are you? Okay, 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 okay. Match velocity. You are that thing, I think. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe just another one, a different one. Play recording. Gabbro here, checking in on the deep space satellite per ground control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. Seahorn Fells, I do too work. You know, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here, among the distant stars and the soft, velvety darkness. But it's awfully nice for naps, too. Ugh. All right, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Everything looks say okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens, no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. You hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Oh, good. All right, then. Sounds like everything's grand. Is this, like, charting its position kind of in orbit? Maybe I should leave it be, but also maybe I should... There we are. There's something else. Oh, is that the signal being sent from home? I mean, I guess it says unknown, doesn't it? Unidentified signal... there. Well, let's go in. Let's see... Hold on, what is that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the other photos, just this one. Now, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. Hmm... We need to examine some photos here. All right, and I was right that that's what the, uh, that's what the thing meant, the satellite angle. Cool, okay. So... I was pretty sure this was Gabbro, since Gabbro is the one who went out there checking on it, so, like, that shouldn't be weird. But, uh... Is it this? Is it this here? I wonder if it is, because we got Timber Hearth and the Moon here, we got Giant's Deep, we got the Interloper, we got the Twins with the, uh, Quantum Moon there, Brittle Hollow with its Lantern, uh, Bramble. Yeah, that's a different thing, isn't it? 
satellite angle 40 degrees. So let's get out to the satellite. Let's hang with it a while. Let it to get to 40 degrees and see if we can use that to get a visual on this uh, strange little artifact here and get there. There you are. I think we gotta gun it for that thing, don't we? Just keep eyes on it and go. What is it? And can we have, um... Uh... Oh. Well, success. Seemed like success at the time. Um, there, good enough. Yep, I'll take it. Successful landing, didn't blow up. Yes. Uh, log? Thoughts? Uh, so empty. Tragic. <laughs> Sorry, right, we'll get it back someday, somehow. All right, well, let's poke around a little. Huh. Well, that's an unknown language, isn't it? Translator has no idea, and neither do I. Okay. Oh, trees detected. I'll take it. Interesting. So, um, do I dare? Oop, feeling a rumble. Makes me nervous. Four different lights that respond to my light or reflect it, I guess. Rotate? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, b. B. Whoa! We're in a halo. Very cool. And a little unsettling. Just, um. Okay, is this good? Is this fine? Is this good? Yeah. This is good. Wow. <laughs> we have found something cool. But I'm excited to explore. By the way, I feel like I should actually... Nah, now's actually a good time to mention it. Uh, there was... When I started the game back up, there was a little warning that, hey, there might be certain... Uh, scares and such that some players aren't on board with, uh, and they gave me the option to do a, to like, turn on a reduce frights setting. My understanding is that these frights are somewhat similar to some of the frights you might encounter in the original game, so if you played the original game and were not a fan of the anglerfish, there's probably something comparably scary unsettling in this. If it proves to be a little bit too much, I will turn that option on, leaving it off for the time being, but, uh, we'll see. We shall see, because I don't know what the frights are. Let's start poking around. Hmm. This stuff does not look Nomayan. All right. Two-eyed beings with horns. I like it. Loving this whole lodge vibe. So... Forward and reverse. Hmm. Let's go upstairs. Remove, ooh, slide reel, yes. Yes, good, okay. This is more like it. Eh. So, kinda need a light source here. What if I, eh. <laughs> ah! Whoa, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so much for the slideshow then. Where, is that water gonna recede, or have we just got us a problem now? Where would all that water have come from anyway? Like, I could see it sort of, sort of like functioning as this like big wave that is sort of just traveling around the loop, right? Because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of other places water could go. Is it going down? Water? Are you receding at all? Yeah, like a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. Let's go someplace else. We can come back. So cool. Oop. Guess I should pay attention to where I'm going. I'm so excited. Like, I didn't think we were going to get more Outer Wilds. And then when they announced that there was going to be a little expansion to Outer Wilds, 
I was kind of like a little uncertain, sort of thinking like, how do you add to this, right? Careful, careful. Like, how do you add to Outer Wilds? And uh, seems like they found a way, which I'm thrilled about because like once you finish Outer Wilds, it's an amazing experience. And the feeling that follows is kind of one of like, oh man, there's nothing else like that. <laughs> Uh, so having a little bit more of it is so exciting. What if I moved this like, what if we put four here? What if that? Whoop. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Apparently I solved it. Don't know what it is, but I did it. Well, this is a bit bummers, isn't it? What are these devices? I can still roast a marshmallow, though. That's nice. Will this be the day that I finally managed to just roast one without it catching fire? You know, I think I did it. Yeah, I don't really know what to make of this room right now. I don't know how I opened it. Whoop. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm beginning to think I might have detected the, um... The gimmick with this location. <laughs> Water damage. This is so cool. Uh-oh. Still playing by those rules, huh? I mean, I'm still connected to the Ash Twin thing. That was an experience. Whee! And here we are. Okay. Maybe the dam breaks. Ah, that's what it is, isn't it? There's a dam here in the dam break. Oh, I get it, I think. There it goes. Oh, man. Uh. Oh, boy. Ooh. So next time we come through here, we can run in here to grab a lantern and get it back there to view some things. Hmm. Well, we got a little dry land. Well, semi-dry land at least. Not completely submerged land. That's familiar. That's the eye of the universe. As often depicted by the Nomayans. And this... That is interesting, isn't it? Where am I now? How far have I traveled? Wow, there's the dam, all right. So it's smaller than it kind of looks and feels. There's another building though, to try to get in that. And there's more stuff up there. Oh man, so much stuff. Let's see if we can at least get a tiny taste of what this is. What's this? User interface, oh, oh dear. Yeah, I got no idea on this one. <laughs> okay, gonna need to solve something then. Can't read. Something. Scout. Ah, oh, man. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, that was cool. Did you see that? When uh, I woke up, the uh, quantum planet was there. The character blinked and it was gone. That, I don't think I ever saw that before. That was rad. Uh, you go right there. Yeah. Okay. Now, so... Cool, uh, all right, we've got a ringed planet and its moon, I guess. Eye of the universe. Blast from the eye of the universe. Hits this planet. Is this them like sort of gaining a kind of wisdom here? Yeah, they're seeing the eye of the universe. Or seeing the signal from it. Whoa. Whoa. It looks like they were looking for it, or at least they were watching us. I don't know if this is intended or not. But they glimpse the eye of the universe, are shocked by it. Others come to look. Love their design in general. It's like a middle picture here we're missing. But they assembled, they built this station, traveled to our solar system, set up shop. Okay, and they've been monitoring several different sets of ripples. 
burned, burned, burned something. So thing closing. Hard to tell what's inside exactly, but light goes out. Then we see this figure who I guess takes the camera or whatever. Or no, we're seeing another angle. They light this somehow, which seals this? Huh. Haven't entirely processed what this all means, but whatever those things are, they're locked by something like this. And, uh, huh. How did... What is this? How does this work? I don't... I don't entirely know. What if I... Oh, here. What if I... Boop. Ah, that's how you open the doors. Yeah, okay. And this is our... This is the place we came in. Cool. All right. What other locations in here do I need to check out? I didn't get into this yet, did I? No, I didn't. Because there's ghost matter, etc. Get around, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to get inside, but... We're fine here. Uh, dang it. Maybe... Yes. Here we go. Still got to be careful, but... Okay. Artifact. Cool. I'll bring this with me. These are the things that the other beings are holding. With this artifact, I could... Question mark. I don't know if it's like the configuration of these, or if it's just... Is darkness enough? Well, I guess darkness is enough to open it. They seem to be all about darkness and light around here, so is there a way to... I can roast marshmallow, which is not quite what I'm going for here, but, um... They've got a light in this. How would you get light in this? Can I, like, place one of the lanterns inside one of these? Already holding... No. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yep. There we go. There, there we go. This is something. I'm shining light through here, and it's showing something. Here, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. L when I shine light through this, it focuses it and shows a different thing here. Folks in comments mentioned uh, when the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> when the save file corrupted last week and I started over, that um, there are some minor things in the DLC that can be a little bit different, depending on how much of the base game you have done, how much has been added to your ship's log. Uh, and that seems interesting. So in between sessions, I've done a little bit of work going back through and trying to fill this back out again, speed running around the universe a little bit. Still some work to do, obviously, but uh, I'm making some progress. Uh, also, another thing that I <coughs> amusingly didn't think about um, back at the time is that that's a feature and you can do that. The game told me, and I didn't notice. <laughs> One thing I need to do is go... Not even leaving this planet, really. I need to go back to the new little spot, the little radio tower spot, because there's some woods near it. Oh, there's a fire. That's cute. Uh, there we are. This is very cute. What does this say? Despite my checking on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print over in the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, a watched satellite never transmits data. <laughs> it's a little joke for you, journal. No one says that. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow to a syrupy crawl whenever I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've turned to Gabbro, our resident expert in leisurely whiling away the hours, who recommends the following. Gabbro's three foolproof tips for dozing off. One. Light a nice, cozy campfire and get comfortable. Two, gaze deeply into the serene warmth. Three, let time begin to slip away as you allow the flames to lull you into a peaceful slumber. If Gabbro knew I had taken notes, they'd probably think I'd finally cracked, but I refuse to accept sass from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. Gabbro would. Do it on accident like the rest of us, weirdo. I just like that they also, like they haven't left their planet. They're a 30 second walk from home but they still wanted to camp, and I can respect that. Oh, that's cool. Like, the little electrical lines are up there. Oh, and they're electrically charged because they're just power lines, right? They're power lines this way, this way, this way, this way, but this way, this way. They're power lines that then suddenly are submerged. Cool. 
I wondered why they were just laying electrical traps for him. Whoa. Neat. I'm really loving the whole aesthetic of whatever this species is. It's their whole lodge vibe. Way into it. Well, here's a new thing. Okay, another one of these. So I clearly solved the last two... Well, quote-unquote, solved the last two by complete accident. But my guess, after reviewing the tapes... Yes, is that they just kind of need darkness to open up. There's probably a logic to figuring out which of these uh, paintings is going to move. They all seem to contain the same thing, right? Just the same spooky situation. Okay. I need a lamp. Quickly. Okay. A little spooky there, but, um... Okay. Similar situation. So these, like, these each seem like locks. Still don't know what it means, but it's interesting. What's this, then? No. Oh. Don't love that. Just... <laughs> How you doing, Scout? Here, you can come back. Okay. Hello. Wait. I'm on the other side now. Cool. Hmm. Another one of these little chapel things. I don't know if I remember the passcode, nor do I remember if it would be the same. Uh, hello? Wait. Oh, nice. Okay. Hey, I'm in. Nice. Doors open. Launch scout, huh? Huh. Hang on. Okay. Ha! That's cool. <laughs> Just had to manage the timing to open the door. I cannot wait to see what else they have in store for us. All right. Roll film. Hmm. Hello. Oh, interesting. This is something breaking. It's like a damage report. Is this the thing that's broken here while I'm here? Or did this break well ahead of time? Like, the fact that there's a reel just sitting here with that information. Surely that can't be the thing that just happened and broke while I was here. I mean, I guess it could be, but, like, it seems more likely at least right now, that it's something that broke before. Just sort of like a... like a log of... like the damage that happened. All right. So... They're gazing at our solar system. Some of them get bored. Decide to hang out and chat. Watch films of home. Aw. Missing. And then... They voluntarily set up for... This. And those things lit as they sleep or pass, either the, uh, like one of the two. Now they're breathing still. Darkness. Ha! Huh. Yep. Ooh. Very intriguing. Huh. One way, huh? Seems like there's a lot in there. Oh, I could swim to it, couldn't I? Haven't spent a lot of time in the water. I have had a difficult time getting out of the water, though. There we go, okay. Oh, it's an actual diving bell, huh? <laughs> cool. I wonder if I can sink far enough to, um... Probably, right? It's 
it's deeper than I thought. It's fine. Let me in. Yeah! Oh, I thought this would be air by now, but that, that's fine. Here we go! Air! And, ah, uh, this is where you are. I bet there's a very, very good reason whatever you are got locked up so tight. Well, maybe I need an artifact. Maybe not. I need something, though. Don't know what else to do in here. 8% is much smaller than I'd like. Percent-wise. Oh, hurry. Get in there now. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. Uh, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be fine, right? Bye, Scout. Seems fine. Cool little viewing room, because... These astronauts knew how to live. Okay. Let's see. What do we got? Here. This could either represent, like, the little barrier kind of, like, obscuring it somehow, or it could be sending the power of the sun outward to question mark, like, outside the boundaries of our solar system. Who knows, man? I do not know what that wall means, but I'm very interested. Partly missing. A little bit broken. Do you think we can fix it? Maybe not in the next three minutes. Let's... Let's go in the elevator. See what's down there. Where... am I? Oh! What? Oh! That's a little shortcut, isn't it? Why don't you look at that? Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, earlier... The sun was in this space here, and this was positioned right here. There were two gaps. So the sun going that is, uh, and it's pushed us out here. What's out here? What's the difference? All right, so it seems like anytime the sun goes nova and we respawn, it's not because the sun supernova is hitting us. It's because, in theory, like, the Ash Twin Project is triggering, and that is, uh causing us to just respawn, as if we had just gone, like, flown ourselves way too far outside the solar system or something. So if we turn the Ash Twin Project off, there goes immortality, but then also, uh, we could have a little more time to poke around, and who knows where this ship is going to go. We will get a game over if we die, which I guess isn't that different from just quitting and reloading, really, but... Yeah, it doesn't get very close, huh? I am fascinated. And I don't know if I'm gutsy enough to attempt that yet. But once I start running out of ideas... <laughs> we have a very reckless fallback. Just really curious about the thing we saw break on the outside here. Like, it may be that there's nothing to actually find, but that's... a pretty big, important... wait... thing. Hold up. What is this? Looks like another shortcut. So let's enjoy a few minutes of life. Oh, hey! This is how you get in here! Neat! These are air locks, I see. So, what are you? You're an artifact, kind of? So there's several kinds of artifact. Can I light you? What? So I saw that by just, like, standing in this, yes? You know, I haven't really thought to try going in one of these rooms where there is fire and just dozing like they did. Don't really know what it would do, but, uh, oh, it's another one of these. All right, a different... Kind of artifact. And now there's one of- Ugh, there's so many things. Stare at the flames. Doze. Who knows what? This lights up. And then things are different. Okay. 
How many different artifact styles do we have at this point? We got that kind. We got this kind. Excuse me. It kind of seems like... Yeah. Well, these look very similar. No, but they're not the same, though. Three different kinds. Let's just let the air out of the rest of the station. Why not? There's trees. What's gonna happen? So this was okay. So these three chambers were kind of like test chambers showing what the three different uh what the three different artifacts would do when combined with fire. I now kind of know about two of them, not the third. Well, I don't even really know what the other two do. I just know like I've been shown hints. Okay, I'm ready for movie night. Let's see what's up. Artifacts. This one. You take. Go in there. So this is just the regular lamp. Look inside. They doze off. And... Nope. Nothing of interest on that one. This one... Doze off. Ha. Huh. This one... Doze off. Lights fire. That one achieved what they wanted. So if I go down here, holding this one where there is a fire, and they do all still have fires here, don't they? Yeah. None of these have gone out. They are quite dead, but um... So if I just doze off... And time passes as it does. And I wake up. Oh no. Okay. Uncomfortable. I may have made a bad choice. I'm not in my suit anymore. The lamps aren't here. I'm in a where am I? Go, okay? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They found a way to send themselves home. Like, send their souls home, anyway, just not their bodies. Um. I wonder if they'll be chill with me coming for a visit. Don't suppose you guys could build a bridge? Maybe. You seem good at it. So the fact that you've not built a bridge for visitors feels unwelcoming. I'd like to report a missing bridge. Oh, I get a light. Good. I don't like whatever that was. I don't like that at all. What if I conceal? I also don't like this. Both are bad. Oh. Nice. I am hearing noises, though. Like, that's... The one thing that makes me a little uncomfortable. I might have found the spooky vibes. What, uh... Whoa, that's so cool. That's so cool. Never mind, y'all. Figured out the bridge. I made it myself. You're welcome. I accept payment in marshmallows. And, um, answers? Hello? So if I'm understanding this right, there's there's going to be multiple entrances to this here. Because there were multiple uh, of those rooms, right? What's the other artifact going to do? So I'm getting very lost, hosts. Go. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> you have a gorgeous but intimidating lodge. Um. Oh, are you watching movies? 
I see you there. Hey, can I come in? Knock, knock. Uh, hello? Sorry to interrupt your movie, but I... Oh. Oh, boy. This place is huge. Ooh, I love the art. It's gorgeous. Don't love that. Something's moving over there. I don't know if I like it. This has been wild. Just this whole thing. And we are about done here. Oh, hey, there's this thing. Too late, though. Whoosh, there it goes. I expect to see... Yeah, there we go. Nothing happened, and yet that was a very spooky walk. I'm super impressed with how they've managed to take their, uh... sort of pretty delightful, occasionally unsettling or creepy or tense space thing, and actually make a, like... They did a really great job of creating some really... spooky vibes in there. This is fascinating. There's one... there. That's where one's going to be. We're trying that one today! Getting ourselves nice and spooked out, but on purpose. Well, wish me... whatever. Luck feels like the wrong word. Boop. And, yep. Spooky time. It does look a little different, I think. I think. Ooh. Spooky. Maybe the door's gone now. It feels very unsafe in here. I'm going to go back where there's some lights instead of none lights. Well, let's, uh, see about this, huh? Just gonna light. No? Okay. This away. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ooh, boy. Oh, I don't like how weirdly that's moving. But, um, whoop, okay, it's not waiting for me. <laughs> got it. So, yeah, I'm guessing we've got... We're going to have, depending on which room we enter from, we will have three different areas, each of which we're going to need to figure out how to break a lock in. And I think to do it, the Ash Twin project's got to come off, right? Right? Probably? I can't see anything. Whoa, now... Not what I expected to see here. I'd like to get off the ride. Yeah. <laughs> that... I'm still hearing and feeling through the controller rumble sounds of where I am, of, like, where I actually physically am, right? Like, this is... Yep. Oh. That's so cool. And inconvenient. Let's just poke our head in here. We do still have a fire. Why not? Got nothing else going on. Hello? Not seeing anyone here. Now what? Oh, okay. These are the three sources of the locks. Okay, so th there's going to be three more combinations I need to learn somehow. Assuming I don't need to go into all the different entryways in one run. I need to go to each one, and I'm guessing I'm going to find a combination in each one to use in here. That makes a lot more sense, given the limited time I have. I can go over here, though, so let's, uh... Uh... No? That is very interesting, and also... unsettling. Let me in! Where's the artifact I want most? Uh, ha! Yeah. 
This will be interesting, won't it? Maybe. Or maybe nothing will happen. Maybe we'll just die. Let's find out. Okay. Wake up. Go! Okay. Well, I did sort of call it. So that experiment did go very bad, and I guess we could have kind of guessed that from the uh, laboratory. We did see an explosion. It happened for a reason. But we had to be sure, didn't we? You see, the thing that you eventually learn once you've been doing science and astronomy for as long as I have at this point is that eventually you just gotta try the dang thing. Sometimes that's just the only way to find a thing out. You just gotta try it. And maybe it'll go bad. Maybe it'll blow up. It happens to the best of us. That's the thing you'll just come to understand. Once you put in your 10,000 crashes like me, you'll get it. All right, let's make a mistake. Steady, careful, and done. Okay. This is this is what you want to do, huh? You're super duper sure about this idea that you have. And yes, I am game. Well, no, no, I'm not, but I am doing it. It's a little too late now, isn't it, game? Should have said something sooner. And there she goes. So is it just going to kind of like fizzle or um yeah there it went if i can just remember where the yes here we go uh wait hey now beyond the reach of the supernova you find yourself the only inhabitant of an abandoned world surely something here must be edible <laughs> Well, I found an ending. <laughs> huh, I thought we were going to, uh, see something. Maybe I needed to get out faster, or... Hmm. Well, thank you, all the backers. Um... <laughs> I really thought I was onto something here. Maybe I still am, but maybe I don't know enough yet of what to do with this knowledge. Maybe there's some other thing that I need. Maybe there's some more pieces missing in my understanding that I, like, need to explore some more, figure some more things out, and then know something a little bit more specific to do. Maybe. I feel like I'm going to try it again, but not just yet, since this has <laughs> gone not super great the first time. I'm curious. I bet that could be the other, uh, the other thing I haven't found yet. Can I get there now? All right, it's up there. Is there any way I can get around these big rocks and access this place. Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Can't stop me. Yeah, this looks like there's going to be something interesting here, though. And the water does get up this high eventually. Is there anything down here? It does kind of look like it. Can't really see, but wait, 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 wait. Yes. What is this? Where am I? Hmm. That's a lot of records that have been burned. I'm going to take this with me. Aha. I'm taking that. Never mind. That's a slide reel. I don't know where it goes, and it's hard to see sometimes, but here we go. All right, I got... Hey. Never mind. I know how to get out now. Doesn't matter. Give me this. Yep. Yes. Can't stop me for long. It's a mean thing y'all did. Now, what else is back here? I hope it's a theater, because I don't want to have to leave and go find a theater. That's what's happening, isn't it? Boop. Hey, hey! I got a good feeling. Yes! Yes! What have we got here? So... Huh. 
So we're in that other space. Turning around, going through a building, riding this. Past one stop. Nope, not past the stop. Stopping. Handed them an object. Huh. And oh, and then warped over. Ah, clever. Okay. There's, oh my. That's a lot to take in. So if I can find this spot in that other side, and if I can find that weird door looking thing, I don't know if I need that, but it seems like I do. There's a thing you can warp to there. There's a little village on the other side that I kind of want to see first, but then if you, uh... Huh, why would... I guess I need to light this up again so that I can see the village and explore it some more. But even if you don't have that, so long as you have this thing to look through, you can head on down. Man, that's interesting. I don't know exactly how to play with that yet, but that is a very interesting. And we wake, and we're here. Uh, and there's our lodge. I'm feeling pretty sure that all of these other side locations are connected. Like I could, like the river that I rode through is uh, down there at the bottom of that canyon. So I could feasibly get down there and start riding. Like, I've just got three different entry points around here, which is cool. Ah, man, really? Shoot. Let's just move quick. Maybe we can make something happen. Path. Boom. Okay, cool. What do we got over here? All right, we got a lift. That's something. And it's going to take us down to the water, I imagine. But we're not going to have time for that. Nope. There we go. Okay. I feel like I'm seeing something moving over there. Makes me a little uncomfortable. Uh, hello? Uh, ooh. What's up? We're not friends, are we? We're not going to be friendly, are we? You're going... Ah, I see. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Oh, jeez. Aw. That's real interesting. They, like, come grab me and, like, boot me out. <laughs> they could do that by just blowing out the candle. That's... Kind of cool, honestly. Spooky for sure. But hey, we met one. Rough first impression, but I'm sure next time we can make friends. I should have just not, like, shined the light in their eyes. That seems super aggressive. I feel like this is the, this is the branch to... Uh, okay, so I see the light over there, so we're going to have to be careful not to... I guess it's best to try to, like, steer around them. Don't, uh... Don't irritate them. So we got this little area with these buildings, but I don't really know... There goes the dam. We're about to get booted. Shoot. There's the river. And wake up! There we are. <laughs> Where's my door? Here we go. This takes us to... I could have sworn I'd been through this one, but maybe I haven't. Because this looks like it's kind of leading me to that village. Maybe I haven't been in here. Okay. Let's take advantage of the time we have. Oh boy, I want to get down there real bad. Come on. Give me an elevator or something. Or stairs. Warps? Sure. Zoom. Here we are. Can I, um... There we go. So, so long as I can turn out the nearby lights, sometimes doors are going to go away. Noted. Ooh, that's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes. No. No, I just realized what that is. Ah, crumbs. 
<laughs> I bet if I turned off my light, it wouldn't have alarmed. I guess I didn't really poke around here as much, did I? Well, let's find out. We got a bridge. Music's a little unsettling. Very unsettling. Hey, if one of you guys actually wants to come over here and come wandering and kind of show me a route I can take to get over there, that would rock. Just go around a corner through some trees. Kind of lost you there. Ah. I get it. Nice and slow. Don't get spotted. There they go. What am I hearing in here? It's... That's a really unsettling noise, y'all. Uh... Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm... A Harthian from the solar system. That hi. No, 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 nope. Not necessary. Hey, come on, man. I was but I but I'm just coming in. I don't even care. I'm poking around. You can't stop me. What's up? Jerk. I say hello. I might have just heard water. Booted. I think I saw their lantern kind of fizzle too, though, so I guess I guess that makes sense, right? They're basically all dead now. There's got to be something more I can do in there. I'm super curious now. Wait, I just got it. I just got it. I think. I think. Oh, crap, I just got it. We just need to go to a different fire chamber that's not going to get drenched when the dam breaks. That way all of them will get kicked out when their fires go out, but not me. And I can run through their stupid party, come out the other side, need to go this way, and check out the rest of their building. I have crashed the music party. Yes. Yes. Alright, it worked. Nice fire. I'm starting to worry it might have all been for nothing, though. Well, let's poke around and be sure. Hmm. I'm worried I got all excited for nothing here. <laughs> oh, no. Seems like a great place to hide a sneaky find. You really gotta work for it. We learned some stuff. It wasn't a total waste. Yeah, that about describes today, huh? <laughs> this one has the painting. Yeah, 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 yeah. This whole situation. That was it. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that was it. Okay. Here. You. What's going on here? Where do you lead? Huh. Green fire on the outside of this. Oh, but in that on that other other side there. Oh, and here's a reel. Oh shoot. That's Oh boy. Okay. Watch movie. Okay. So they're going inside one of these rooms. Is that Oh, finally. I was just kind of memorizing which one of the uh <laughs> which one of the paintings was the one that, like, was the secret entrance. It's the one that has the planet in it, I guess. That would have been useful to know a while ago, though I guess it worked out, didn't it? Also... Now I can explore other areas, like this, ah! Kind of the equivalent of that thing I just found... in real-world space. Hello... 
We good? Cool. Um, if I turn that on, nothing. But I bet if I blow all these out, something. Because I bet something's gonna happen. And... Yes. Something. No. Maybe with all those out, like, the weird ghost stairway exists now, or some other thing. I don't... Oh, just felt a rumble. I'm sure it's fine. Meh. If you wanted me to care about your signs, you would teach me the language. Okay. Whoop. Sneak, 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 sneak. Can I turn it off? Whoop. Ha ha! Sucker. Yep. Uh, burned. Oh, okay, so this is the, uh, sort of this side equivalent of the... their... No! No! <laughs> Can go for a ride this way. Whoops! Right! Oh, I'd forgotten all about... Right. I should probably finish that ride at some point, but not now. I'd forgotten. That's right. That that slide reel that showed how they got into that well in the center did start by showing, like, hey, when on a raft ride, that's your opportunity to uh, catch a warp. So, extinguish. Whew. That's going to be creepy. Uh. It's fine, right? Nothing I or you or... Oh, no. It's nothing we need to, like, worry about. Obviously. Go. Okay, so we get... We get hunted once we do that, huh? Darn it! I was clever! Okay, I'm doing it, I think. Nope. Okay. Oh, come on. How is the building not toppled over? Oh. Yeah, well, you're dead, so... Joke's on you. Jerk. So, to review... Start going that way, and then, uh... There. But now we're tipping over and splash. Well, there's the reel. And uh, wait, it's it's moved. It moved. It moved. Okay. Ah. I'm in here. Whatever here is. I found something on accident. Okay, blowing out all the candles does do something. Okay, um, we're coming back here tomorrow. It'll be a treat for us next time. What does this get us? Let's explore. So there's this, which shows, okay, uh, glad I'm capturing footage right now. That's gonna make this easier to remember. The first single ripple shape burned out, figures. Second one, burned out. Third one, burned out. Okay, you guys suck. And this one, this one we already knew. Sun, I fire, I fire. So where's this one? Where's the equivalent of this one? I might be thinking of a spot that's actually near the third fire tower. Oh, I might be. Yes, there was. Okay. Boom. I just raised an elevator. So... This is new, yes? Okay. Alright. There's a room over there that has something. I guess. Spot right there that has something. I guess it's the sign? What is that? What does that look like without the... Just right around there, huh? And this one. Right there. Is it this is showing me where some more reels are, isn't it? 
have I, like, how many of the things that this is pointing me to have I found already? This, I think, is in the beginning area somewhere. I don't know exactly where that little spot is, but it's it's where I first arrive every time. This is out here somewhere and might now be gone. And that's like a whole wing that's just missing. Huh. That one I'm pretty sure I found. And now we've also got a reel. They handled business with this, lowered it, left, and this is when all the evidence burning started happening, yes? Yep, all of their records, all of their research, I suppose, into the eye of the universe. One they placed... Oh no, this is the burning process. Hmm. Okay, so they just straight up burnt all these, but like, what was this then? I can't see what that real symbol is. It's too small. But they did something with this one. Like, copied it. And then destroyed the rest. So we know of several locations of interest. So one of them would be that. How do I, can I just lower into this? Mm. <laughs> yes. Well, is there an opening? There is. Here we go. And yes. All right. So they're showing me the locations of all of the destroyed evidence. But there's got to be something else. Oh, there's a secret reel in here, isn't there? Yes, give. Please don't log me in here. Thank you. No, you jerk. Scout, do you think you could, um... Boom, there it is. Jerk. Okay. Hand it over. Here. Okay, and out in this area. And then... What? That's allowed? Are you kidding? So that's how you get over there. Oh, that's gonna... Oh, no. Ah, dang. Okay. In order to get those comp- so that's what those- that's what they're carrying. That's what they are carrying into those spaces and hiding away. It is the combination to open this safe, or a piece of it. Uh, one of them is hidden in the place that they kept on- that I had to try to stealth through, that they kept kicking me out of at the bottom of the well. One of them's hidden in the lodge, and uh, once I take a walk of faith across the little Invisibridge and shut off all the lodge lights, I'll be able to get around a lot more places, but they're also going to try to catch me in there. Mm. Okay. Outer Wilds is good. All right, let's learn. What sort of challenge are y'all creating for me here? On this side, they handed it over, then went down, I'm guessing, Yeah, they went over to that stupid music party shack. I beg your pardon. But it's fire. You can't, but I guess I'm doing that next time. Dog on it. I figured out everything but the last step. To my credit, I figured all that out without this guide. <laughs> Music party already crashed. So now... You know, I thought when I'd listened back to, like, the edit of that, uh, infamous episode, I thought I had heard some sort of, like, chain sound a little bit, but it Zero idea what it means. I'm just gonna close this and, um... Wow. So that's what that sound was. I'd accidentally activated 
the elevator. Boy, this feels satisfying. Whoop. Hello? Wow. First things first. Man, come on. This is the full version. We've seen the altered one. So, I have the universe, our solar system. A signal goes out, in which both they and the Nomayans. detected. Their minds were blown. Oh, here's where things were missing. So they, like... They scavenged their planet to nothing, basically. To build this station. To pursue this. They got themselves here. Yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, I can see why they would, uh, want to hide that information from others. Or why they would just be very, very bitter about it. Okay. Huh. This whole thing's a simulation. That I'm not on, like, the other side of anything. They've created, they've recreated a part of, like, their world. They basically, like, recreated a part of their world as it once was in this space. That's what all of this is. To just, to try to live here and exist here. So this is what they were doing with the reels. They were digitizing them, scanning them, and hiding them all here in this space. In the real world, they were largely destroyed. So it may be that this is, like, the one code that I don't actually need to be able to get through. That may not be the case, but I'm not, not seeing anything super promising here. This might be all I managed to achieve this run, but boy, I am satisfied with it. But I can, uh... Still try, I guess. Yeah, see, that's kind of what I expected. Ah, neat. Oh, I'm not even in control of this slideshow. It's just going. Up in this secret room. Pointing at that thing. Is that the space that I already... Like, did I already do, basically, what that showed me how to do? I'm trying to remember if I actually acted on that one. I think I did. I'm really wondering what's in this thing, uh, by the way, because I, I, up until somewhat recently, and I don't remember if I mentioned this, like, uh, in a recording or not, it's just a thought I've been having for a while. Up until recently, I was assuming that inside this vault was one of the owl aliens. Aliens. There you go. One of the aliens. And I'd assumed that for a long time, because we'd been, like, we'd been missing... We'd been missing one of the uh, alien skeletons inside their little sleeping chambers. And I'd sort of just assumed that there had been someone who wasn't agreeing with the group who they felt they needed to deal with and locked them up in here. Someone who like, still wanted to try to use the eye of the universe, even though they'd already seen that it was going to mean their own destruction and the destruction of everything, according to their visions. So they locked that like, dissenter up. That's what I'd sort of assumed. The more I'm thinking about, about it, I actually don't think I'm right about that anymore. Because the missing, the missing alien skeleton is probably the one that blew up trying the second artifact in that little experiment. <laughs> That's probably the missing one. So what they've got in here, I have no idea. As soon as we lose all light, drop off. Boom, look at that, huh? I have broken the simulation. <laughs> cool. Hey, here's that archive thing that I'd found. I can't do anything here. I'm just hoping that standing on the water again is not going to sink. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. You know what? Heck with it. We're here. 
Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know how to do it now. Uh, extinguish. Hey, we got one. Now this brings us over here. So having one of those gone, can I see a code now? So I can cheat my way over to this one, to where I don't even need this particular code. I'm assuming if I entered this code in, then it would like send the raft over so I could get over there. I guess. Because I feel like I still need the code to be able to get across this one unless it's another stupid invisible bridge, which is apparently a real thing. And then... <sighs> that. And they get mad, lower themselves down to create problems for me. Like jerks would do. Whoa! Gracious. You alright? <laughs> Scared the heck out of me. How'd you fall? Oh. You know, maybe I should leave. Oh, of course. Come on, man. I had a plan. You're not getting rid of me that easy. Okay. Quick. I've just completely accidentally managed to get this far. So, uh, Jerk, where are you? Where am I? Oh, come on. You cheated. You're cheating. Okay. I'm just going through here. Go. Oh, nope. Lights off. Lights off. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're here and we're fine. Go. Gee. Uh, tense. Okay, let's take advantage of our time, huh? Learn some things. First of all, I hate it. But th I guess that's the one that I, like, already know how to bypass, isn't it? It is. Okay, let's learn. So, actually, I guess it would make sense to grab one of the other ones. For no, wait, we saw the other one. We saw the, uh, I think the first one in this series is what we saw last time. So, here's the Eye of the Universe one. They saw the Eye of the Universe. Once they were already out here in our solar system to study it. Scanned it. Saw visions. Showing them that if they tried to... Interact with it... both they and our solar system would be destroyed. This upset them, understandably, especially given how much they sacrificed. They were not super thrilled with the whole Eye of the Universe thing anymore. They started building this. Around what, though? They shut off the Eye of the Universe's signal. And then they, uh, made themselves invisible. And started figuring out what to do with themselves from here. This might be the same reel. Maybe not. So that... Th these little bells ring. Sending a signal... to the brain. And that wakes them up. If one which- if we've got one dead, one alive, and the alarm goes off, in the live owl, that'll call them back out and they'll wake up. In a dead owlian, the alarm's not gonna hit their brain, so it's not gonna do anything to the lantern, so their just sort of spirit is still- their, like, consciousness is still here. So they can't be called out of it anymore. Alright. So this is them b building the stuff. Enter it. Nap. Sleep. And it works, and it brings him here. Hmm. One of them's elderly. 
dying, but that still works, and it still brings them. Oh, that's cool. Good for them. Bad for me, but good for them. No, I say we get booted on our own terms. <gasps> there we are. They are all dead, yes? Like, there's not a single... They'd have to be. They've been here for a bonkers amount of time. And there is one missing. Again, I'm guessing the one lost in the experiment. At least that's my... And developing these artifacts to make this whole thing work. And then... Our path. Ridiculous. Well, here goes. Oh, what? Y'all didn't like that? Listen, I get annoyed when the power goes out, too. But I don't wake the neighbors. The doors should be open now, which that's kind of fun. So, like... Like... Here. For example. Yes. Oh. Nothing back here. Someone was just chilling in this room, probably. Good, good, good. Yeah, I should have probably figured that my old route was, um... Gonna cause problems. That's right. You just come over here, huh? Peace. In fact, it's so much more interesting that I'm gonna ask this dude a favor. Hey, how do you leave? Can you point me to the exit, please? Thank you. Just to get it down here. That's all. Nice and easy. Great. So this is here and waiting for us when we come back. Now let's open up the second entrance dock. There we go. Thank heck. We're still probably going to have to sneak around one. Eh. And that sucks. But maybe we can do it. The worst case will be if there's one right up here guarding the lift to catch us, like, right away. Which is possible. I really hope not. Okay. Please don't let there be a jerk just camping down here. Please? Uh, can we just walk this? Uh, nope, oh, I'm worried we can't. No, we can. Good, 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 good. Just go. Just go. Just go very fast. Okay. I'm ready. So they had done their work at this point. Blocking the signal of the eye of the universe. Rolled film of their old home they'd destroyed. Regretted their choices. Started creating the simulation. So they could at least enjoy the fake one. Can't blame them for that. Hmm. So the simulation is only fully processing around the lantern. If you leave the lantern, you leave the sim, but sh you're not gone? Hmm. It does work, doesn't it? Wow, that's cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. I mean, I think this one's still broken, but, like, all the same. That's awesome. What a cool way of sort of depicting the game devness of it. While in, but still in sort of like a fantastical way. Oh, that's cool. 
I know. I, I love how I love that the Aliens aren't just the Nomayans 2.0. They aren't just the same idea again with a slightly different flavor. They do feel very different, which is great. So, all right. One of these, clear. Two of these, not yet. Uh, I'm going to set this down here. Okay. It feels like, like I may be wrong, but it feels like I need to be able to solve this puzzle to be able to create the platform I need effectively. And as for this, I have no idea. It feels like I'd need the codes to be able to solve this one. I didn't need a code for this one. Let's see if we can find the source of that light. That's my only guess currently. It might be that I just need to uh, have the weekend to kind of like mull over what I've found so far. But I usually come into each one of these sessions with a bunch of ideas to try. And then I find a bunch more ideas as I explore. Right now I'm kind of out of them. So we have this. Uh, instead of dozing, I guess... Die in a fire? And... There we are. <laughs> it's not going to be great for us when we get booted out of here, but that's a problem for not even future us. Like, just... It's just a problem. <laughs> and if you gotta die, you might as well learn something from the experience. Okay. Do your worst. I don't even care. Can't hear you. Don't give a heck. What's this gonna do? I mean, that, obviously, but... I am going to need it to do something more than that. We know how to solve that one. We know how to solve that one. This one. I don't have any idea. Well, okay, hang on, hang on. Now that I think about it. That's it. I didn't think that these things were going to move in sync with the... Man, awesome. The good news is we know how to get... We know how to get in here. The bad news is whatever we learn, it dies with us. <laughs> uh, it already died with us. We're already dead. We're just... We're gonna have the power to learn it after the fact anyway. Here goes. Well. Okay. Stairs down. Okay. 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 It is so dark. Um. And we got this. Hello. Anyone here? You can trust me. I am also dead. Yeah. Hey. No. Chill. Be nice. Do you have any idea how much work it took to get down here? So there was a prisoner. Huh. My first guess was right. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you're going to show me... a reel. Okay. So you woke up early. Oh, you were the one. Okay, you woke up early. And that's why the signal was still firing. They weren't thrilled about that. 
and they locked you in here. But that's why the Nomayans heard it. They sealed it back up, but the Nomayans got that one burst. And that was enough. So what do you think? Those are my thoughts. Let me catch you up on everything bad that's happened. But also some good. actually getting to see the events that we pieced together. Just from our research last time, now actually getting to see some visual depiction of it. That's probably a lot to take in. How you doing? Is that good? Is that good yell? Oh, okay. Oh, do you want this back? Here. I'm gonna take this again. But hey, hey, wait, hang on. Hey! It's not like I'm in a hurry to get out, it's just, um... Hey! Thank you! It's a very boring one room to spend eternity in. I say eternity, it's like... 10 more minutes tops. You're the first nice one of you I found out here! Uh... Decided you were done, huh? Yeah. Well, thanks for everything. That is a nice thought. Uh, I am thinking we're done here now. Yeah. So it's possible that with this, we've effectively completed this DLC, honestly. And I have been informed that it is worth doing the final things again at the end of the game after uh, wrapping everything up in this expansion DLC thing. I met one of the stranger's inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions they took that resulted in their internal, uh, eternal confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. Yeah. And that, I think, is all of it. 
We're going. Here we go. And here we are. Well, let's observe. Nope, just lights in a forest. What an incredible ending this whole thing is. I still adore this. This one little end of the world galaxy universe marshmallow for the road. Gotta get in some calories. Hmm. Neat. Um. Well, it's the worst that could happen. Hmm. So we've got some of their memories with their companions and family. Some of the memories of our friends that we gave to, to them, that we shared with them. As well as the Namayans. That is very sweet. I think we're gonna have to, uh... Put these out, though. Um... Hey, bud. Ooh, your instrument. When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth. Like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so, a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? That is really interesting, but... I say... We worked hard to make this, friend. I say join us and let's see what happens. Because you... None of this would be possible if you hadn't done it. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes. But if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. I'm excited to see your instrument in action. Very good. Oh, good. Thank you for joining us. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet, here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Not yet, actually. I've waited this moment for a long time. For so long, it's no trouble to wait a little longer. Very good. Feldspar. Ready for the final step. Then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. Cool moment. How beautiful. 
It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. Here goes. Just incredible. Like, I can't wait for whatever else Mobius Games wants to make. But even if, even if they never, ever manage to top this, this is a better thing than most game developers ever get to make or work on. Uh, lots of us have brilliant ideas for games. Few of them are this clever, like this strong, and a tiny, tiny fraction of those ever actually get made. Much less like made and released and succeeding in realizing that idea in a final end product this powerful. This is just a real incredible success and I'm super happy for all of the people who are involved in making it. But who knows? Maybe they will top this one day. I frankly thought that following this act was kind of impossible. And when it was announced that they were adding like an expansion DLC thing to it, I was like immediately skeptical of like, how do, why would you add to, the, how would you add to that? There's no way that like, well, okay, but like I, <laughs> I just didn't see how on earth that could possibly result in something worthy of the the original release. But, uh, little did I know. <laughs> it's absolutely worthy of the original release. It's additive. It just makes it even better. They've taken an already remarkable game of the year <laughs> top-notch thing and just made more of it and better. So I don't know they're they got some consist not just like talented people over there, but talented people who can deliver two great things in a row. So man, I'm really excited for whatever they do next. Extremely so. I love how different a universe it is. Ooh. Oh, there's more now. That's great. <laughs> 